Okay, how do you diagnose a meniscus tear on physical exam? And a meniscus is the shock absorber cartilage. There's two types of cartilage in the knee. There's the cartilage on the end of the bone, on the end of the thigh bone, and end of the shin bone, kind of like the tread on a tire. When that wears down, that's what arthritis is. But in between the two bones here, there's two little shock absorber cartilages called the meniscus. There's a medial meniscus on the inner or medial side. There's a lateral meniscus on the outer side. And so when someone tears their meniscus, they're usually gonna have pain, they might have locking, they might have clicking, they might have snapping, they might have swelling. And when you originally injured this knee, you were told you have a meniscus tear, right? Okay, well, how do you test for it? Um, you, the, the thigh bone is right here and there's a little, you can feel the end of the thigh bone, you can feel the, the shin bone right here. So there's a little V right here, right there. And that's exactly where your joint line is and your meniscus is right along here. So we call this the medial joint line. If Allison comes over here on this side, it's a little harder to see it, but the same thing. There's a little V right here. Here's the, here's the thigh bone, the femur, here's the shin bone, the tibia, and I'm pressing along her joint line. Now I feel something right here. That's your lateral collateral ligament, your LCL. That feels like a rope. So sometimes people think that they have a meniscus tear. It's actually the LCL or vice versa, or it can be both, but you got to feel behind that too, because this is usually where those tears are back here. And so you're going to feel tenderness along the joint line. That's one thing. Another thing is what we call a McMurray test. So a McMurray test is, there's different variations of it. Everybody just figure out what works best for you, but the basic principles are this. You wanna compress that meniscus, medial meniscus in this case, between the, th the femur, the thigh bone, and the tibia, the shin bone. So you're gonna, you're gonna compress, you're gonna do something here, it's called really more of a varus stress. You're gonna compress it, and then you're gonna try to twist that meniscus. I got my finger right on the joint line. You're gonna twist that meniscus between these two bones. There's a tear there, she's not gonna like it, she's gonna have pain, and you may feel snapping and popping as well if it's unstable. Same thing, I have my thumb on the lateral joint line, and I'm gonna bring her out like this. When I bring her out in this valgus position, it puts these two bones closer together and it pinches the meniscus and we're gonna twist and turn and be nice and mean and I usually go faster than this. And a lot of times I don't even tell them what I'm doing. I'm pretending like, hey, can you feel me moving your, your um, hip or your knee? Does that hurt? And I'm really doing a McMurray and distracting them. And if they have pain, they're gonna tell you and you're gonna know it's gonna be probably pretty obvious that they have a meniscus tear.